Hi guys! So I'm here to do a tag that was the Bookalicious tag and I was tagged by Melissa, the Metalhead Bookworm and she's awesome for tagging me. Yay Melissa! Um, I'll leave her link down um, leave her link down below. There's 25 questions, I'm just going to shoot right in the now. What percentage of books do you get from the library and what percentage of books do you get from elsewhere? I'd say the library, you'd be lucky if I got 1% from the library a year. I think I had one book out this year and it was only because my auntie was going in and I seen it and thought, oh I'll get it. But do you know what, it was such a hassle having to return it on time and no. Um, I'd say then 25% of that's maybe um, review books that are sent to me from publishers and then the rest are self-bought, maybe about 75%, 74-75%. Number two, what character would you want to be and why? Um, I would love to be Hermione Granger. Uh, most people will pick Harry Potter, but the reason I didn't pick Harry Potter is I just think Hermione's better. Um, I think without Hermione, Harry would struggle to have survived, to be quite honest. Um, and you know, she's pretty awesome. She's a really kick-ass witch. And I don't think she's given enough credit sometimes in the YA world. So, I definitely want to be her, uh, Hermione Granger. Number three, what is your favourite book from your childhood? Harry Potter. Probably the first one, because, you know, it was what opened the world to Harry Potter, so I'd probably say the first one. But between that and Alice in Wonderland, I'm an absolutely huge fan of Alice in Wonderland, and from as long as I can remember, Alice in Wonderland has always been something I've read, so it's pretty hard to pick for my childhood. Um, my favourite book overall is Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. Um, I think that was very well done. Um, I just loved that full book. Number five, which book series do you have the most books of? I'm not really sure what they mean by that. I think it means, like, do you have the complete series or does it mean how many copies each book you've got? Either way, it would be Harry Potter. Next, like, so do you use your book or use bookswap or use swap.com? No. Who is your favourite hottest guy or girl? Um, probably a coin flip between Jace Wayland and Edward Cullen. I know you guys will hate me for saying Edward Cullen, but you know what? For ages in my child, for ages I stopped reading. I just couldn't get any books, and Edward Cullen brought me back to that. Um, I absolutely love him. So you know why not? You know, it might it might not be the greatest books in the world, but he is hot, and if Stephanie May can bring me back to the world of YA and the world of books in general. You know, that woman surely deserves credit. Um, anyway, sorry, ran over. Number eight, what is your favourite book cover? I um, don't really have one. I prefer books that maybe get pictures or illustrations on the cover opposed to writing. Um, but I don't really have a favourite colour. I, I really like the all of Cassandra Clare's covers. I think her covers are absolutely stunning. But um, I'm not really sure what to make of that question. Number ten, what was your first book, what was the first book you read? I really cannot remember. Um, I did read a lot of Road Dahl and Jack and Wilson when I was younger. Um, and I read quite a few classics like Peter Pan by Jane Barry, but I really can't remember. Um, number 11, what is your favourite book to movie adaptation? I'm going to be completely honest here, I really do not like book movie adaptations a lot of the time. They get made into the movies and I love the hype. I mean, I can't wait for the Hunger Games to come out. But there's always things I hate with them. And as as much as I love the Harry Potter series, there's so much that bugs me about the movies. Um, but I do think the Half-Blood Prince was pretty well done. Um, but I'd probably say Peter Pan because for this question because and I'm just mean the normal Peter Pan, not Hook, not the Disney one, not um, you know, Finding Neverland, just Peter Pan, the one where Lucius Malfoy, I can't remember his name, is Hook in it because that's probably the most, the one book I've actually seen that's very, very true to the movie. Or the one movie that's very, very true to the book, sorry. Number 12, when did you start making videos? I think it was maybe about November last year. I'm maybe lucky if I make one, two videos a month, um, but it's just because they're quite time consuming to make and I don't really have a lot of time.
Have I ever written your own fan fiction before? No, doesn't really interest me. I don't haven't written it and don't really read it. City of Glass by Cassandra Clare and this is the longest book you've read. Probably Harry Potter and Order of the Phoenix, which I think is 872 pages. If you were to write a book, what would the title be and why? Um, I've no idea, to be quite honest. Not really much imagination in that um, end. I don't plan on writing a book, so I've absolutely no idea. 18. How many books did you read last month? Um, probably about four or five. Um, that's usually what I average out about. Possibly four, maybe. Number 19, what was the last book you read? I'm currently reading um, Clockwork Prince by Cassandra Clare. Which is awesome! And do you fantasise yourself in books you like? Hell yeah! Alice in Wonderland. How cool would that be to just go into a world that's complete madness? Harry Potter. Be a shadow hunter for a day. You know, be Captain Hook, fight Peter Pan for a day, you know, get in the head. I mean, it would be like, you know, your paranormal ones, you know, be a mermaid for a day, a werewolf, a vampire. Oh yeah, big time. What is your favourite bookstore? I don't really have a favourite bookstore. Um, we really only have Waterstones in Scotland and it's really overpriced and I'm not really... A big fan, it's mainly online bookstores like the Book Depository I use. To hardback or paperback, um, I'm kind of on the fence with that one. Um, I do prefer hardback covers, um, but paperback's cheaper and you can get more for your money. You can get two paperback for the price of one hardback, so nine times out of ten my books are paperback, but I do prefer hardback. But if you, do you have more than one copy of the same book? Yes, I have two sets of Twilights. I've got the black and the white covers. I have a dozen, well, I have quite a few copies of Alice in Wonderland. I've got a few copies of the Mortal Instruments. I've got paperback and hardback. I have a few copies of um, His Dark Materials by Philip Pullman books. I have um, loads, I've got about at least four different sets, at least four different sets of the Harry Potters. Um, yeah, I've got quite a few different books, a few other classics in there that I've maybe got one or two copies of. Um, number 24, would you rather read about vampires or werewolves? Vampires, hands down. No, no qualms. Vampires, it is always, they always will trump werewolves for me. Vampires, 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 could not make it any clearer. Vampires. Own more than 150 books, if not would you? Um, not sure if I own 150. I think I'd be pretty close to that, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, my main bookshelf's behind me, um, but I only tend to put books that I really like on that shelf. Um, otherwise, they get into my cupboard, under my bed, or in another wee box thing that I've got beside me. Um, only the really good books get on the bookshelf. So thanks again, Melissa, for tagging me. You're completely awesome, and. This tag I'm leaving open to everyone because I know this book tag's been around for quite a while. I'm just late on joining the party, so I open it to everyone. So hopefully I'll have another video for you guys soon.